Now you know how to access your money, then you might be asking the question, well, why on earth would I worry about using superannuation to save for my retirement anyway? Well, this chart really tries to explain that, and it shows the five sort of broad investment structures in which you can invest through. So you can invest in individual names, joint names, within a trust, a company, and in superannuation. And with superannuation, it's divided into two phases, so the accumulation phase and the pension phase. There are other structures. There are insurance bonds, investment bonds, education scholarship funds, and annuities. Uh, But uh, the main investment structures are these five, and so we're just going to focus on, on these ones for the moment. I guess the benefit of the... Uh, cutting to the chase, the benefit of uh, saving um, for retirement through your superannuation money is that once you have reached your preservation age and can move your superannuation money to pension phase, earnings on the fund are totally tax-free. It's 0% tax rate on both income and capital gains. Whereas if you, for example, and I think I've got an example here. Yeah, so if you, if you for example, have um, an income of $90,000, and uh, so employment income of $90,000, your marginal tax rate is going to be uh, 37 plus the Medicare levy of of 2%, 39%. So if you've got $100,000 of funds to invest and they earn 10% or $10,000, the tax on that money that you're going to earn is $3,900. And if you factor in the net return, it's only after the taking away the tax, you're only going to get a return of $6,100. Whereas if you're in the pension phase of superannuation, you'd get the full $10,000 return with no tax payable. So that's the key reason why superannuation is a, a great way to save for your retirement.